start video recording. We're back. All right, we are back. That's right. I don't know why I'm the one who has to do it. Why every do you always start it while I'm on my the phone? the fucking star of the show. I don't understand I'm not it. Even ready. Oh, I'm going to blow on the star of the show. I've been trained wrong on purpose. Exactly. That's how it'd be. Why didn't it work? Because you hit the wrong one. You fucking lied? I did not. It's working. It's tracking. But you hit the wrong button. There you go. I'll take up ah. nuts. That's a lot of nuts! That'll be four bucks, baby! I also you didn't want realize that it was in the headphones. <laughs> He just left with nuts. We're nuts. So that is a Four bucks, clip baby. From the you most want fries with that? Time, yes. Referred to as Kung Pao. I had to go back and edit the ones from the last episode and like bring them up in volume, even though I played them through the thing. But oh, we weren't. Remember, question. we didn't studio one A. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Never mind. The yeah. other thing I was wondering if it was recording here doesn't matter. Because it's recording right. there, right? But um, this is this is a new podcast. We're here. The star of the show is here. Mm -hmm. You might notice that the true star of the show is not here today. The co-star, T Rev. He is right now probably watching some cars go. Did he leave last night? I don't know. I, I think he left today, so he's probably stuck in I-5 traffic right now. He's probably stuck in I-5 traffic. <laughs> it's be um, real. But I have an important announcement. Stop touching your microphone. Other than the fact that last week's episode Stop or this week's episode. your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> well, this week's episode. <laughs> uh, that... The one that just came out, all right? The Bean episode. Yes, the Bean Boozled episode. <laughs> that sucked. It sucked so <laughs> dude, I did not get that fucking taste out of my mouth bad. for fucking hours, dude. Dude, did it not last until the next day for you? Because it lasted no, until the I next ate, day fuck, for what me did I and eat? Trevor. No, I ate three fucking grilled cheese sandwiches <laughs> immediately after you guys left. Slathered in <laughs> butter, extra cheese. I let the cheese soak in my mouth and sit there to try to pull this this nasty bandage <laughs> taste out of my fucking mouth. It's steamed a coffee that's in there. I'll let you sip the coffee. You tell me if it still tastes like the bandage yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't drink coffee. Because it's fucking blended into the coffee. It stained everything I touched that next day. Oh, that seems dangerous. It was so bad. Yeah, that's what the table's there for. Try not to spill this time. No. Yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the bean boozle thing was terrible. I'm going to try to get Uncle Phil to eat a bean. <laughs> um, Make that a short. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. I couldn't get it out of my mouth. I'm Dude, when they said hopefully... Band-Aid flavored, they weren't freaking kidding. Dude, yeah, old, nasty bandage. Oh, my God. It was exactly that. Like, to a T. I'm trying to think of what the freaking hell I ate when... Whatever it is, I needed it. Because I ate gummies the whole time. Didn't help. I fucking drank coffee. It ruined the coffee. I tried put chips. The flavor in chips, the, the salt. Salt definitely doesn't. That's... No, salt doesn't help it at Grilled all. Grilled cheese didn't help. That's kind of salty. Cheese and butter and bread. I assumed it would be salty. fucking like the cheese would grip all the shit and swallow it down mm, my fucking no. gullet. It, the whole next day, dude, I was pissed. The whole next day, my mouth, everything tasted like I kept burping it up. It was the fucking worst. And Trevor had fucking rotten, like, dog food or fucking uh, rotten fish or some shit. Oh, yeah, bad fish or whatever. Yeah, like fucking rotten roast beef or some shit. And he, the whole fucking day, he, like, we're both burping and just, oh, fuck. Dude, it, it made me feel so bad. sick. Like, sick. It, I, I fucking felt was, sick. Like, when I got so home. Bad. I had to eat just out of sheer, like, get that flavor out of my mouth, but, like, I didn't want to. Yeah, that bad. <laughs> got you terrible, now! Dude. That's exactly what it did. It got me now. 
And that's what I felt like afterwards. If you, <laughs> if you watch the episode, uh, d you might have seen that I played around with uh, text-to-speech. Did you see that? Uh-uh. Oh. Oh, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Oh, sweet Susie. And it all is. of you should go and watch it. You should. It's the Bean Boozled episode. It's what it's called. It's named that. It's, yeah. It's, it's named after it's name. it. It It was bad. It was absolutely it was, terrible. It was, well, it wasn't bad for me because it's like that whole hour I was slaying those questions. And then I had the one lucky. bad one because like, I only had to eat three beans. Like, got And lucky. I got one wasn't bad. One was a little worse. But I that like last one. Fucking oh, beans. I know you and Trevor were fucking not it American. Not, you yeah, more I'm American. I'm patriotic. American shit. American shit, I but I was reading the page American. Like I was yeah. over here reading the answers, so I felt bad. I had to eat some beans. I had to give <laughs> get a couple of wrong answers, and like I felt bad. I felt like I was stealing it from you. You need to fix that light behind you. What light behind me? That that light. round one. Roll it forward. No, no. See the how there's a line there? Yes. Get rid of the line. There you. There. 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 there the cord just wants to pull it. Yeah, but then flip okay. it the way that the cord doesn't pull there it. There we go. Boom. Bam. Fixed. Ooh. Engineer. Not an engineer. <laughs> not a not a lighting engineer, no. Um so yeah, there's a guy saying uh from my text, I texted out because Trevor was like it's 50/50 chance. Or Trevor said something and I was like, "Nah, it says right here on the box it's 50/50 chance." And I was like, I we can lie. tell that he is clearly lying, for he is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and it says it in, like, uh, Dimitri's voice, some Russian voice AI bot that you can type to speech text, and it will okay. put the audio in there. And you can do the audio to speak to text. So then I got the text, so it pops up in there, too. It's pretty cool. You'll probably see more of that coming in the future, ladies and gentlemen. I like how your your camera's over here, but you look over to the screen. Yeah, my camera's. I'm looking over to the screen to make sure that everything's still running and nothing like froze up. I'm checking mm -hmm. the. When you're people, addressing the people, you need to side, address the no, people. You're people, wrong. You're running for Congress. People want the Mother side profile. Fucker. And First I'm glad you show. said that. I'm glad you <laughs> said that. Let's let's get to it. <laughs> We're gonna have a quick wardrobe change for one of us here, real quick. And here on the Long Rubber Glove Podcast, I Wimp Low would like to be the first to officially welcome running for whatever the fuck you'll vote for him in. Lazy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm better than all the rest of them. I am your congressman. I am lazy. Zachariah, Edwin, Raphael, Aldrich. I was a Catholic. Now I am a believer in spiritualness and other things, such as cannabis and DMT. And if you want the world to be a better place for somebody to fight for you, and your rights in this great republic that we stand for and the constitution of this great land that was built on the backs and the blood of our ancestors. I will fight for you. Vote for me for Congress. Two thumbs way up. Thank you. And let's go smoke a joint. All right. Um, so... Yeah, Congress, House, Senate, whatever you want to send. Wherever you can get me in. Um, right. But the, the idea is I want to make it to Congress. I want to get to Congress. I want to help fucking stop the government from breaking us down with all these laws and minutia. There's too much. Too much. We need to be able to protect our own. You as a community need to be able to protect your community. Mm -hmm. You as a city need to be able to protect your city. Yep. You as a state need to be able to protect your state. And if we all do that, we will have a protected United States. Yes. Patriotic. You 
you are going to help me on this fight. You are going to be one in the army. I'm not the leader. I'm just the voice. And you don't have you. to do anything money wise. All you have to do is click that like button, hit that subscribe button. Send I mean, unless you're trying to start up a super PAC and try to get us really on yeah, this. I'm, I mean, I am not playing with you people. I will go and be your congressman. Vote for me. Believe that. This will be the first guy to be on the House floor and say, fuck you. This is how this is going to go. That's right. We don't All play these that social shit programs her. and shit. Let's get rid of most of them and actually keep the ones we need. And it's going to be for people who actually need it. Yes. Like, As a helping hand stepping stone. It's not a forever money. Dog, I had this. You shouldn't be able I to live on I had a great idea it. the other day. So I was thinking. So all these people bitching about because in the that new debt bill, um, there is some like there's some welfare recipient th uh, changes. Work so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to work. Be more work required. So here's here's the thing. All those people who are capable of working rather than bitch about it. Fucking let's get it started to where we need investigators to investigate claims. So that'll put half the motherfuckers who are bitching about having to work to work at an easy job. I mean, what's easier than going and checking for is this guy freaking really limping or is this guy in a wheelchair or is he not? Even better. The same thing that the judge told me when I went for my disability. Count beads. You literally sit there and count beads. Fuck that. There's mm. nothing easier. Mm. There's nothing. You, you don't even have to count them. It counts it for you. You're just there to make sure that the machine doesn't stop. Mm. That's literally it. There I mean, are a lot make of easy jobs. Very out there. little money, not enough to survive on. Right. Which I don't understand how there can be a job out there where the wage isn't enough to survive. Here, Here's the issue. No, I'll tell you how. The I'll, dollar this is how. isn't because, strong enough. No, it's yes, not that. Yes, it is. That's it's, exactly it. Some jobs, now, the problem is, is some jobs are meant to be low-wage jobs because they're for people who are on, like, SSI or whatever, where you can make, like, up to a 1000 bucks a month extra on top of your shit. That's why those jobs are low, because they they don't have consistent employment. That. But then you're talking about not having employees because... Those people most of the time aren't getting those jobs. So the people that are willing to fill those jobs, you can't make enough money. So it's a lose lose for everybody. Yeah. Here's my issue. You the dollar should go further. It should. Yeah. That's where the problem lies. Yeah. A dollar should be able to buy you goods. Two dollars should be able is, to buy you that... more goods. Three dollars should be able to buy you three times as many goods. The problem is, is that we have borrowed ourselves out of having a strong economy and strong dollar. We've taken a dollar and have to pay back two dollars for every one that we take from the Federal Reserve Bank. That's the problem. And we took ourselves off the gold standard and we've been borrowing money ever since the 70s. No, earlier 60s or than 70s. No, I'm, FDR took us off the gold standard. Yes, but so we haven't been borrowed. We, we still had a group of money that we were paying in ahead of our bills until we started borrowing money, and that took about 10 years. So that would be 1950. Okay, well, it was in the 50s, 60s, or 70s. I believe it was in 70. You can I look it up. So. I believe it was, is when we started borrowing money. Not when we were taken off the gold standard. That was way before. What I'm saying is after we were taken off the gold standard, there was a lapse in time before we started borrowing money from the Federal Reserve. Vote for me for Congress. I will, I will fucking fight for you, dog. You won't find a more loyal person. I'm not here for the money. I want people, I grew up with a belief that there were good people in the government, that the people in the government were here for our benefit as loyal civil servants to serve the people. That is gone. Okay, so the first time the U.S. borrowed money. Why didn't it stop? You didn't toggle, did you? I swing a bit less. We're upside down.
I... You didn't toggle. See? Nah, I forgot. See? See the toggle? I told you. That's your fault. <laughs> Blame Wimblow for that. That was his mess up. Um. Anyways, the first time we borrowed money was 1776. As the United States? Yep. After we had Green In a committee of 10 founders took charge of what would become the Treasury, and they helped secure funding for the war uh, through loan certificates, pretty much a bond, um, with which they borrowed money for fledgling uh, government. From the Federal from, Reserve, though. From France and the Netherlands. Okay, yeah, but that's not the Federal Reserve. Look at when we started borrowing U.S. dollar from the Federal Reserve. It says timeline of U.S. federal debt since Independence Day, 1776. Look at when we started borrowing from the Federal Reserve. Come on, Star. Star. Oh, God Earn damn your it. fucking camera. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up, Chuck. I mean, it was expected, All right, but so I fucked up. So, 1916. Or. The no. Federal Reserve became... The Federal uh, Reserve in 1916. No, in 1913. Uh, yeah, it was 1913. We borrowed money for uh, World War One. Lies. It was a loan of $5 some billion. liberal, lying horseshit. Okay. Well, it's still in the 1900s. Yeah. I was wrong. So we were both wrong, because I thought FDR... But, no. Fucking wrong, lawyer, Lottie. Eat a bean. They're in the closet. Hard. Eat it. About a jizzy joint. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, look at that mean motherfucker right there. Oh. See, kids? Comes equipped with matches. Oh, wait, not kids. Kids don't do drugs. Yeah. People do do over 21 who can legally do shit? Look at that. Yeah. God damn it, I'm going to have to beep you. You're not going to have to beep me. Beep you. I covered it. I will beep you. Speaking of censorship, so fucking Twitter, huh? Elon to the rescue. How about them Twitter nuts, huh? I feel like my camera's lighter than yours. It is. Wow. Sorry, folks. Sometimes this is how it goes in the world of kind of live podcasting we shoot all of our podcasts in one take with no editing so you get a kind of like an hour of just kicking it with us there we go we're more matched now there we go better. that's much better much better because this back. is essentially this podcast is built off of what we do we sit around as a family and argue and, and smoke weed, smoke weed. <laughs> that's pretty much all we do You can be a part of this every week for an hour, maybe more. The more views we get, the more time we'll put into it. Yeah, we're almost, we're getting close to being able to monetize the YouTube channel. Um, thank you to everybody that's been listening on Spreaker and on all the other audio platforms. Spotify. Um, the show's really, really designed for YouTube for video. Yeah. So like Rumble, YouTube. Um, everything, there's a few episodes that haven't transferred over to Rumble yet, and I don't know why Rumble is slack adacking like a motherfucker. Super bad. They got their stars. They, they got who they want. They need to get better at doing shit, because they're just like a live platform right now. Like, fucking, anytime I go on there, it, the whole fucking thing's live streams. Yeah. It's ridiculous. They're Twitch. I don't think you can they're upload Twitch. videos. I think you can upload videos, but you? if I have, like, I have our, this channel... This YouTube channel linked to the Rumble channel of this, and since I link the channels, it won't let me upload the videos that are already going up. But there's ones that are pending, but it doesn't tell me why they're pending, how long they're pending for, when right. they will be out of pending. It doesn't say anything, and there's no reason for them to. There's worse podcasts that sh that have gone through. So I don't know. They maybe they're too big a file because I know 15 gigs is the most. So those ones might have been a little more than 15 gigs. It could be. Um, but that's been an issue. So, hey, get it to fucking gather, and do 
better. All right. Do better. You gonna pass that spinach? Cause I got a story rate waiting to come out, but I need much like Popeye with his arms, I need my uh gluteus maximus to you get need bigger. Some mm. Cannabis maximus? Cannabis maximus. Cannabinoinosimus? Something like that. That one that one was bad. Yeah. I I agree. Meet me. We'll meet in the middle. Yeah, my my shit's harder to get out of. Bullshit. You gotta sit up. I got arms, fool. Arms that help pull you up. I got bad knees, fool. So I need to lose some weight in the belly area for this to fit nice and nice and proper. But it makes you look good. Look at that. I mean, we are looking. We are looking fucking snazzy. I'll get this thing fitted perfectly if you vote for me for your congressman. I don't know how else to say it. We can do this with the power of love. And a little bit of cash wouldn't hurt. Probably because I got all the antsy and moved. Oh, wow. And people, we now welcome our new guest, Lazy E. This is still your congressman speaking. I just want to show you how fly we could be for a white guy on your congress. Still I better be than Fetterman. This, ex looking like this, I could be coming, walking down. In the House, in the Senate, in the halls of Congress, swaying like this. I'm in security in case you wonder why I'm I'll see AOC too. and be like. <laughs> that Spanish booty. <laughs> yeah, look at that Spanish booty. God, she's dumber than a box of rocks on a fucking Wednesday. God, did you hear about that fucking, that channel? The oh, yeah, AOC the channel on AOC Twitter. Fucking, <laughs> like, uh, it's, the, a it's a parody, and it says on it, it's a parody. parody. Yeah, <laughs> insane. She was all for upset. A couple hundred bucks to my name for two yeah. weeks ain't Big. good. I need to do some door dashing or something. Grind, dog, grind. All right, let's get to our first topic of the day. Kind of touched on it a little earlier. No, you did. Passing, we did in passing. Um, so the the bill got passed for the debt ceiling. So for those who kind of understand or don't understand at all. Essentially, what they're doing is continuously kicking this debt problem we have down the road. So this one goes till after the presidential election, which is nice in the fact that whoever hopefully becomes the Republican president again, um, that he means DeSantis. I do. I do. I love Trump, but dude, I think DeSantis has got way more fire. Go for him, Trump haters. Go. Bring it on. Go Trump lovers attack him now. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it passed 2024. So that way, whatever attack. the incoming president it is, then whatever he has for Congress can hopefully deal with it then. And quite frankly, the one that passed, the only cool thing about it that I can tell, there's two things that I'm kind of okay. Well, I'm really okay with one and kind of with the other. But the one I'm really okay with is there's no chance in hell Biden's getting a student debt forgiveness like and that makes me happy because we as american people do not have to share the burden of people we don't know that should be an option if you want to share the burden of someone's education thank you then you should most definitely do it with someone you know so you can not only have the fulfillment of seeing your you know fruition coming to be but you also it it's more 
it builds a tighter community to do stuff within your community. <laughs> Just randomly clicking them there, huh? Yeah, I can't hear them. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, that's what I could tell. They aren't named; they're numbered. But, but the other thing that, like we touched on a little bit earlier, I I'm very happy that some people who are on welfare. That one's not tough. Oh, so every single one of them have to get Jesus shot? Christ. All right, you need to click the top right corner one. No. We'll have to fix that later. Now that I know that it, when I hit toggle, it didn't do it for all Speak of them. Speak into your microphone. If you now that me. I know that when I hit toggle, it isn't going to do it for all of them. I won't need it. We are both ventriloquists, ventriloquists, ventriloquists. We are both ventriloquists and we practice every day. He carries a basket, he carries a paper roll, and we don't have sense. But there's one thing that's for sure. Every day, he carries a basket, he carries a paper roll, and we don't have sense. Is there a reason you're repeatedly... All right, changing subjects. Why do you keep hitting it? Stop hitting it. I ain't hitting it. That had to have been you over there on your fucking little pad thinking you're cool. I can't actually, I can't trigger. That's the one thing that that app does not do is you cannot trigger your uh, instruments. I believe nothing of what you just said. All right, so leave it to Florida. This is this is why Florida's Florida. Unfortunately, some Don't you very irresponsible Florida. parent decided to uh, run inside and uh, do a little shoplifting and decided to leave her freaking kids in the car. Why don't you call it shoplifting? It's shopping. I, it, <laughs> do we want to play... Uh, I'm devil's advocate. <laughs> and, um, what's a good way that's not going to get us kicked off of YouTube? Uh, there is none. Yeah, let's just not play that. We'll play that game later. But um, so she went into the store to shoplift and left her kids, who are being described as not old enough to care for themselves, in the car. Well, somehow that fucking car burst into flames. She killed her kids. No. No, she did. Fortunately, one they lived, but one does have first degree burns on her face and ears. So she did it badly. But she tried to kill her kids. Yeah, How did dude. The car just burst into late term flames? abortions are in New York. Yeah, you're in the wrong state. Not Florida. You're in the wrong you state. Go north. But thankfully. North for the Thankfully, winter. she's being charged North, as she North. should be. So, got you now. They are hitting her with uh, aggravated child neglect and arson. So, you want to come get this? Yeah. <laughs> they got her now. She did it. Allegedly. 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 But, yeah, so, let's talk about that. Oh. Now, I think the age is very relevant. 24 years old. And... So, there's two kids, which is pretty safe assumption that she's probably... Probably had these kids since 19, I think is a safe assumption. Based off of other facts that I can't discuss on YouTube. So, <clears throat> anyway, there has to be a shift in the way that Same people... nothing. <laughs> no, there, there needs to be a shift in the way that people are taught. <laughs> like, 
because unfortunately somewhere in the last couple of generations people started becoming parents but they they never learned how to put others before themselves so they have these kids and then unfortunately a lot of people view these kids as nothing more than you know a way to get more money at tax time and a burden yeah definitely a burden yeah I don't think that it's gotten any different. It's just the shame on those people has changed. That's what's different. There so, is no shame. That's what I'm saying. You used to get shamed for it by everybody. Right, because now you, you don't get shamed for it, and so now it's more rampant right. in that, that aspect. But people have always felt that way. But there's definitely got to be some kind of like, you know, here's one for the Democrats. They love their regulations on shit. Regulate fucking parenting. Like, pay attention. Like, are these kids being neglected? Are these parents they fucking. They care. They rape kids. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, fucking what's his face donated lots of money to Democrats and has lots of Democrat friends. Fucking I, uh, Epstein? Yeah. I think he did. Do, he donated. Yeah, I, I think probably, but like, I think he donated to right wing shit too. He probably did because money and influence. They but, say he might have been a spy. Yeah, he might have been for the Mossad, but yeah. allegedly. Anyway, no, I don't. I but don't know. he I, I'm, definitely I'm was true. more Democrat. And the KKK was invented by Democrats. The um, most of these pedophiles that you're finding, Democrats for sure. Like, any, yeah, that's facts. Like, it does happen on the other side too. It does. Just to definitely. be fair, look at it, priests. Yeah, very supposedly much so. Christian, but most of the priests I know are actually liberals. Fuck, I can't believe so many priests I know are liberals. How did they get the flag of? Pride to hang outside of fucking. They're all up and down here, and then now the gay pride flag has the tranny flag attached to it, and now you're not noticing it. But even like the trans and uh, gay people are getting pissed off at the uh, maps people trying to attach their flag to it. Do you know what maps is? Uh uh-uh. uh. Minor attracted persons. Oh fuck. Yeah, and I they did. have a yeah. flag with dark pink, dark blue, light blue, light pink, oh, yellow, yeah. I heard white. something about that a while ago. That's uh, fucking... I see some that's, shit like that's that. That's where we draw it's the on line, site. dude. It's on site. Right? If you fly in that flag, on it's on site, site, bro. It's like seeing a fucking Swazi or something on a flag. Like, I'm... Like, <laughs> if someone else is gonna on site somebody for that, or like wearing a white hood and a full clans outfit and dragging the cross with you. Yeah, dude, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> it would be that type of on site. On site. Like, I'm, I will take that fucking jail time. I will, yeah. Because I know you're out Like, I'm not going to gonna kill him. I'm just going to fuck him up. It's going to be like, a che- it's going to be I'm going to keep no, it under a felony assault. Easier, easier jail time if you just kill him. Sure, no, because I mean, if I, as long as it's a misdemeanor assault, you're only going to do like 90 days. Well, then that's nothing. Yeah, You're that's what I'm saying. Not be assaulted at all. No, I'm gonna whoop your they ass and like I'm gonna that. fucking spit on you. They might <laughs> like that. Well, it'd be a hate crime. They'll be like, because of my sexual identity. Nah, that doesn't fly in the law. They're not recognized. That's because child, ch- any anything that involves a child, is illegal. So it would never fly in the face of the law. They're working the on law. making it fly. No. People said the same shit. Speaking Just of the law, years dude. Ago, guy. If you, don't you hear think about shit fucking will that, you on her. shut up. Did you hear about that DA fucking from, I think it was San Francisco? You want me more of this? No, I'm good. Uh, That Chesa Bowden, I'm pretty sure is his name. Fucking, he was the DA somewhere in California for sure. And now he's a fucking, he's getting uh, some kind of professor shot or some kind of fucking position at Harvard. Like I can't remember oh, what and it they is. didn't. Yeah, they didn't disclose the fact it's a that law. he like, molested children at the other school that he worked at. Wait, what? No, you're talking about something else. You need oh. to backtrack that statement right now. Okay, we get well, kicked off. Wrong. Okay. Fuck, no, fuck that. Um, so it no. If he, it's not the same. He's guy, teaching law, a, oh. and he wouldn't prosecute law. <laughs> like what? Yeah, he was the DA, and okay. he's from California. Well, there's there's a big school clue. that hired a coach that 
they didn't disclose that the coach was under investigation at his old school, and when he was under investigation, he quit that school, got hired in another school. Oh, I heard that about that, yeah. That school didn't disclose the fact that he was under investigation for child molestation at that school to the school. When they'd called and asked and asked, like talked to him about him to the school, they didn't right. disclose any of that. And then it gets found out later. Like, that shit's insane. Like, how is that shit not immediately disclosed on everywhere? That's insane. That's what I thought you were talking about. No, I was talking about a DA who didn't prosecute well, the law. He didn't obviously use the law. Me and the listeners the weren't paying attention to what you were saying. I don't think because they because me and the listeners are more on tune than you and the listeners are. So they were with me. They were floating in my realm. Right. Correct. All right, so now to change from fucking just being political, you know, because as a <laughs> musician, I do like the musical world. No, you don't. And I no, decided to check out Rolling Stones. Uh, it's a top 50 list, but we're just going to go through the top 10 uh, songs from the 90s. No, I'm not going to play music. We're just going to talk about it. It's a list. It's it's a list, and it's from Rolling Stone. So, like, we're not making money on this, and that's who published it. I'm just simply reading news as it was. Yeah. So, Is that starting got people banned not too long no, ago for just reading you can news read lists. about no, you can fucking read lists. COVID and fucking vaccines. As long as you stay, and... I'm citing my source. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm report. I'm citing my source, so yeah, I'm good. Yeah, but YouTube can, you know, uh, uh, unilaterally do whatever they want. Yeah, that's facts. Um. Anyway, I'm so just saying starting it's, with it's number happening. ten, uh, TLC's No Scrubs, which ain't gonna get no love from. I don't know about uh, top your best ten hanging out the passenger side of your best like friend the, the entire 90s like top 10 and <laughs> that particular song on top of that so I'm gonna go ahead and guess this list is based off of rate no actually number nine changes that I was gonna say based off radio play but the next song number nine which I've never heard of from a chick named Liz Fair fuck and run mm, I like to fucking run I like to fucking run yeah, that's um. I should have looked at this list before yeah. we did this because I don't fucking know most of these songs. So I can't even. Speak. He's an oh, idiot. Number five is Dre and Snoop. Nothing but G Thang. That's a good one. Bikini Kill, Rebel Girl. That was a pretty good one. Notorious B.I.G. with Mason P. Diddy. Mo money, mo problems. That was a good one too. <laughs> Black Street, no diggity. That's actually I'm so glad that one, one was number the one. one. Nirvana smells like Teen Spirit. That's interesting. Why is this one doubling up? Why does that one play all weird like that? I don't know, but you need to stop. I will kill you. Now I'm going to have to edit that. Thank you for making me do that. <laughs> it's being weird. What the fuck? I'm not touching it. It's not even in my hands. It's sitting on this shelf. I don't know what that was. That's weird. I don't want to talk about that one, actually. You did that. I know you did. Um. So the DOJ is done with their, uh, investigation. their investigation into Pence for his classified documents. Oh, this is fine. And he's not going to be charged with anything, oh, so... Fine. Trump. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Trump has always had something to say about it. Of course. If you're gonna play something I'm not from your it. thing, I'm. 
then put it up to the microphone. That's all I'm saying. Or tell me what it is, and I will grab it. It's fucking... Ventriloquist. I just read fucking... Oh, that was on CNN. Sorry, my bad. What, CNN ain't a good news source? They had a town hall with the man. Dude, that was such a banger. It I know we already so talked good. about that, but oh I my know, God, it's worth great. talking about again. No. It's so good. Ooh, You're a very nasty person. <laughs> Dude, yes. Ooh, no, she was, no, 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 too. No, no. Like, She's got a face where it's like, at first I was like, okay, she's smiling, she's happy, okay, she's, you know... This is cool. I can get behind this chick. And then she just like started getting that scowl. And I was like, oh, I feel bad for your husband. Huh. You oh. know it's freaking. I need to bring this up. So the website isn't up yet. I'm still working on it. It's slow comings. And uh, it costs so much more than it used to for a fucking Squarespace website. They know what they're worth now. That and it sucks. sucks. <laughs> If you don't buy the yearly package, it goes up like fifteen fucking dollars a month. So like what would be twenty dollars a month is thirty five dollars if you do it monthly. And that's just a little bit bedong. <laughs> a little bit dong. So Trump. <laughs> what about Trump Dick? Just announced that they're not going to bring charges against Mike Pence. On the document hoax. That's great, but when am I going to be fully exonerated? I, I'm at least as innocent as he is. That's what he wrote on Truth. Yeah. Yeah? What about it? I'm wondering He your says opinion. stupid shit, dude. Like, so does DeSantis, but at least... He's I funny. I don't think DeSantis says stupid shit. He does. He says calculated and it's shit. It's funnier it's good. than what Trump says is funnier than what DeSantis says. Trump is good for like. He's hilarious. He's I want to watch him on TV. Like when he started the presidency, Stop it. he was good. Stop he had good it. ideas and he started doing shit. There's a lot of shit he didn't get done though, which Stop was kind of disappointing. But now it's like he's become this character that. What it, a traitor. Damn, you are flip flopping. Lip flopper. How am you I a fucking traitor. Flip I'm not even a trumper. You were so hangle dangly dangling from Trump dirt that I couldn't believe it. What are you now, fucking talking about, dude? Now, I've always said that now, Trump is boy. fucking his now. administration was awesome. Now Trump boy. himself needed to learn to shut the fuck up. Yeah, but we've always said that. Right, but it's like... But no, he doesn't need to shut the fuck up now. because he's always been the character. It's not changed. It's the same game. No, it's gotten worse All because he's gotten... not using, like... No, he needs the... to smarten up with what he's talking about. Well, like, this constant always... pushing no, on the fucking makes election makes him look like a fucking... Funny. No, because it, it's, it's a bad look to constantly talk about rather than be like, dude, I fucking won that election, but Did whatever, you watch I can his speech see this recently? is bullshit. The one yesterday? I did not. The whole fucking speech was basically about what he's going to do when he's reelected. It, yeah, he I didn't bring that. up the election yeah. one time. But at he least will. in the parts he that does. I watched. Yeah, he does because it's fucking true. Yeah, but he needs to just stop bitching about it. No, you got to you got to you got to fight fire oh, with my tongue. Fire. Right. You got to fight fire with fire. You can't just let people get away with things. But he does it so badly. He does He's it horrible so about how he does it. No. Funnily. It's not funny. Funnily. It, it's, it's not. It is. Sometimes it is. It's Most hilarious. Most of the time it is. <laughs> but like. He should be a stand-up comedian. It's fucking hilarious. He should stop trying to be a president and just be a fucking but ex-president stand-up comedian. But no, like the town comedian. hall. He should have been like, look, I fucking, I... You know, I should have won. They changed some laws, and I feel like it was kind of inappropriate, but whatever. We'll get, do you we'll think get the this same time. thing about Carrie Lake? Carrie Lake? Yeah, I think that she needs she to She just, just kinda... won some shit. She just won some shit, proving her point. What do you mean? I mean, in her case, she just made like a big leap in her case. I thought she And dropped... proved some points. No, hang on a second. I thought no, they no, dropped no, that no. shit on her. No, 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 no. You need to get. I'm always right. 
That's a fucking we'll lie. We'll see it right now. It, it, we have 17 lie. episodes to prove me right. 17 episodes to prove you wrong. Hmm. Someone make a cut, a super cut of all the times that Wimp Low's been wrong and I've been right. Do that. We'll love you forever. We're going to try to get some guests. I'm going to reach out to some locals, uh, local YouTubers, um, see if they want to come on um, and, you know, shoot the shit um, and tell us about themselves and maybe we can help out uh, their platform a little bit um, at the same time as uh, have a good conversation with uh, some people. Um, I, I find it fascinating over here on this side of the mountains compared to over there. It's a... Uh, there's more split over here than there is there. She didn't win shit, dog. She did. Don't she didn't. No, she, she avoided leap. legal penalties. She made big leaps. Big old leaps. No. What does it say? It says that fucking she made she did she didn't have to pay legal penalties and some dude named uh Mark Fincham did scratch my Pam. Had to pay them. Yeah. Why? Why did they have to pay them? Because she won. You don't know. No, she pay didn't. Legal no, fees she avoided if you pain. Lose, bub. Oh, oh. I'm trying to find it. Oh, All right. oh. Judge dismisses Carrie Lake's final claim in election loss for. So she didn't win shit. Loss, liberal judge. No, he got dismissed. By a liberal judge? Probably, yeah. And she's made leaps. Because she's going to take it to the Supreme Court. No, she fucking lost all of her cases. No. And now she's trying to be the vice president, it looks like. Maybe. I'm going to double check it. Not that I think that you're dumb, but I think that you don't know stuff. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit I'm wrong, because that's what I do for the people. That's why you should vote for me for Congress. Because I admit when I'm wrong. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you I don't. have no problem admitting. I will lash myself 17 times tonight if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I will admit it, and then I will flog myself. Do you I'm sure understand? You yeah, I'm sure. Flog <laughs> probably is an acronym for, or not an acronym, but a synonym for fucking jerk off. No, if I was going to jerk off, I would just say it. That's the other thing. I don't have a problem with what you do on your time, people. Because it ain't my business. But here, I'm going to look it up. Talk to the people, Wimblow, star of the show. I was letting you have your time. Shine bright. I always shine. Shine bright. I'm like a damn diamond. You are a diamond in the rough. Well, DeSantis uh, got a huge victory in the lawsuit from Disney. Or the battle. Lawsuit battle. And it looks like the judge who blocked the Parental Rights Act, uh, he's going to proceed over this lawsuit. Okay. Oh, so no. Arizona, he I'm sorry. He rejected a blid. A Arizona blid. tosses Carrie Lake's lawsuit, and then the Arizona Supreme Court turns down Carrie Lake's appeal. That sounds fishy. Um, so voters sue judge who dismisses Carrie Lake's election. That's the big win. That's what I just said. That the voters sued the judge? Wait, the voters sued the judge? Yeah, what? voters sued judge who dismissed Carrie Lake's election. Dog, you haven't even clicked on that and read the article. On Tuesday, January 10th, Ryan L. Heath, a self-proclaimed civil rights January lawyer January 10th? For January 10, on Jan Tuesday. Oh, January 12th, 2023. Yeah, that was six months ago. Shut up. 
Uh, this is why I'm the star. <laughs> uh, 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 find something that makes me right. God damn it! Uh, it's the internet. You should be able to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the huge win is that DeSantis has got a judge working this case that already gave him a legal win. So that's cool. Another reason why DeSantis is the man. Wow. They're really stuffing this lady. Who, Carrie Lake? Yeah. Yeah, she kind of brought it on herself, though. Yeah, but she's right. They She, like, brought signatures and all kinds of, like... Yeah, no, they she got screwed. She got completely stolen. But And then the Supreme Court won't even look at the case. I hope they sue. Yeah. Sue them. State of Arizona. I'm I'm thinking that the Bongino theory is right though. AG. Like it's just not bad enough yet. Like people are still voting for Democrats, and right now, what happened this last election was people are voting for Democrat because they were thinking like I just don't want Trump, so they just voted for the opposite. I just want to say, I was wrong about. And I will oh, put yeah, a clip are. right. And we're back. And that was me flogging myself. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, sorry you had to see that, but I just needed you to know. So bulge you like a moose. <laughs> it almost looks like a moose knuckle because of the big balls. <laughs> and the little peener. Like just big old balls. You <laughs> <Ew>, tiny sausage. <laughs> Fucking tiny, tiny. I couldn't help but laugh, and I inhaled my drink. Tiny nuts. Small oh shit! Some tiny nuts. My stomach feels weird now. I was watching on a podcast that I watch that I tried to get you to make an intro for ours that was a little less uh, metal heavy. Ours isn't little, metal heavy though. It was it's organ heavy. I played the shit out of that organ. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit more like the Golden Hour entrance podcast. Um, shout out to the uh, original Golden Hour podcast guys. Uh, sorry, you guys lost your podcast. <laughs> the bigger name people. Uh, we won't because no one wants to be named Long Rubber Glove. Because they're foolish Ideally. and they don't <laughs> understand why it is so fist of fury perfect. Now prepare for the long rubber glove. It will be significant. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> prepare for the fist of fury. <sighs> We need to reshoot that intro too. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm grabbing my nuts a little too same. hard. On that. Your part stays the same, dog. It, it looks like I'm trying to scratch my Your nuts. Part it didn't get the effect I was going for. <laughs> the same. <laughs> Plus, I've been practicing in my spare time, dude. I can fucking thrust my <laughs> you hips. Can't. <laughs> it took him so long to do that. You have no idea. I have a hundred outtakes of it. He just fucked up his whole rhythm. I don't know how he plays drums or guitar. He has no rhythm. Uh, it's insane. No, I just have white, a white body. The rhythm, <laughs> the rhythm's fine. It's just the the body. And why can I do it? Because I'm way paler than you. But on the inside, I shine <laughs> like the moon. On the inside, I'm very At pure. Night. I you blind myself for how refractive. Dude, that's I am. because you get gunk in your eye. No, I don't get gunk or spunk or any other type <laughs> of gunk in my eye. You, you get fucking, all of it. You no, know, or ism or izzle or any of that kind of jizzle. <laughs> you fucking bitch ass bitch. For shizzle. Yeah, I don't get none of that. My shit, my nizzle. You understand? <laughs> So oh, I don't know. Dizzle. I don't know if you could say that here's one on YouTube. Here's the dizzle. dizzle. <laughs> here's the dizzle. It's doggy fizzle TV, dog. If you guys don't remember that, it's called back to Snoop Dogg's original TV show on MTV back in the motherfucking day. 
motherfucking day. See, I said it so it was all blended together with the words that you do wouldn't even understand it. But with their AI, the AI is attacking. It's coming after us. Dude, every thumbnail I've made recently has at least one AI thing <laughs> generated in it. Did you see the last one? What? The last thumbnail. Thumbnail. Did you see? For the new upcoming one? For the video that dropped today. I did. We're filming a couple days early because uh, T Rev's uh, on his way into Seattle and Wimp Blow for some reason wanted to go right after work today. Yes, so I could have the weekend with the family. Plus, I have a side job tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is that was that V for uh, V for Vendetta you were going for? What on the thumbnail? No, like I don't get it. I man. literally put in Jelly Bean Monster. That's what it gave me. That's what it gave me. That's the Jelly Bean Monster, huh? That's whatever it thought a Jelly Bean Monster might look like. Dude, it looks like it's a cross of V for Vendetta and Macho Man Randy Savage and fucking... It's crazy. I don't know. But me and Trevor are running away from it while you have given in to the Lord, the Jelly Monster. You were hardly affected comparatively by Jelly Beans. Yes, I was very... Because I'm smart. <laughs> because I understand things. No, you praise the Jelly Bean. I don't praise the jelly bean. You praise it. You don't want to eat it. You praise it. Look. Look at you. Kneeling before the jelly bean monster. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice I was doing the Tebow. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was just laughing and you got me like scratching my head and fucking. No, you're like. Oh, that's the Tebow. Yeah. To the monster. What the Damn, fuck I'm you, good. What are you and Trevor looking at then? We're just leaving. Cause we've That's been... not what that looks like. That looks like fucking Trev's about to give you a handy. No, dude. <laughs> He's not. running away. <laughs> running away. It's no, motion. that's not running. We're in motion. Imagine motion. <laughs> so my God has come to destroy you and you're running off like pansies. I don't blame you. You bow down to the bean. We leave the bean. I flick the jelly bean. bean. No, you... And then I rub my <laughs> nose in. <laughs> you mean bean by <laughs> tiny cock. <laughs> no. Yes, not clitoris, but tiny cock. No. Yes. No. Hmm. International Light, sponsor me again. Please send me stuff again. We will put you up on the podcast and make it all nice. You know, well. And then if Venom, the energy drink, you want to put it up on camera. No. He wants your sponsor. He wants your drink all in his throat. He wants to chug your can down. My girl hates that. He wants drink. to slap Dude, that I can definitely don't want it all over your, your mouth. He wants it all over his mouth. He wants his can all over his mouth and all your liquids down his throat. Deliciously. That's right. That's right. That's right. Give in to the corporate. Give in to corporate greed. It's a little salty. And <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes. Um. What else you got on your nice little pad over there, boy? Dude, I've got an epic idea for a movie I'd like to talk about. Okay. And then we'll close it out. After your epic idea with the movie, with my epic idea for the closing out of this podcast from now on. Okay. So the movie, it starts out, there's like this guy. And then eventually this chick comes in. Is this a fucking porn? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is this a horror movie? No. This is a romance? And then another guy comes in. This is a porn. <laughs> it's really not. And then what are they a crowd comes into? in. <laughs> 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 
And then some people randomly die. The horror movie? No. And then some more people thriller? die. Horror movie. <laughs> and then there's one. And then he dies. <laughs> fucking movie. What the fuck is this movie other than a horror movie? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's the happening is what you're saying. Like you haven't even given a premise on how the people die. At least they gave it. They the just do. No, they just everybody. do. They're just they appear. Everybody dies. And then they die. <laughs> Everybody does that, but how long? So you're just gonna follow people through their whole lives and die of old. No, age? no, it's just heart attack. It's just strokes. gonna be one room, one room. Yeah, and then there's one guy, one guy, and then there's one girl and one girl. This is Adam and Eve, and then another guy comes in, Cain and Abel, and then another guy comes in, Cain and Abel. See, I already know. And it. then there's a group, all of their children, and then. Some people die. Moses. <laughs> <laughs> and then some more people die. Moses. <laughs> and then there's one. Oh. That, the sec- the first one might have been Noah, actually. And then Moses. Because, like, everyone dies with Noah. And it's a musical. And a bunch of people die with Moses. And it's a musical. <laughs> and it's a musical. <laughs> so it's a fag film. No, it's not from the Film film Actors Guild. No, from the Cigarettes Guild. What the Mm. fuck were you thinking I was talking about? The Film Actors Guild, I'm talking about a movie. Yeah, but I I said a fag, a cigarette. Yeah, the Film Actors Guild. A British cigarette. Well, this is America. But this is a British term. But this is America. How do you know that this is America? As far as anyone knows, we're in space. Thank you, Elon Musk, for your sponsorship. <laughs> We're on Mars. We have been. We're the dumb whole bucks time. who are stupid enough to go. <laughs> the first run. We don't even have real housing. This is the only thing. Two rooms. Yeah. I gotta smell this guy every day. And I smell worse. That's a weird thing to say. It is, but it's true. I'm way bigger than you. Big people tend to stank. We just stank more. There's a lot more of us to stank. It's like surface area and shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. See, I'll never lie to you. This is why you need to vote for me for Congress. Facts. I will you be releasing to. a separate video that will be my official candidacy. My gubernatorial race. Towards, I want to be the governor. He would love to be governor, but I want to be your congressman. Send me to Washington, D.C. to fight for you. For you. I mean, that's a that's a hell of a statement. That's... Hmm. I rest my case. No case has been presented. I presented a mighty fine case. How dare you? How dare you disrespect me and my case? My case is all I have. It's everything to me. Oh, in that case, I'm sorry. Um, Good. Wait, I meant I'm not. My case is my gender. Whoa. Affirm it. Affirm it. Oh, I forgot my beef jerky at work. Bummer. Work is on the way home. If I go that way. Dude, it was 10 fucking bucks for three ounces of meat. Yeah. That is insane. Agreed. I agree. But beef jerky is always, like, in all fairness, it's always, it's been, always expensive, been expensive. Like, but it is so expensive right now. Yeah, it, went, it jumped from so six ninety nine to nine ninety nine. That is three fucking dollars. That is a hell of a fucking increase. That That's three thousand percent increase. Three hundred. Three thousand. Three hundred. Well, they're making three thousand percent profit on it. I don't know about that. I do. Oh, I see the back end. Man, I've been waiting for that to come out. No, you that haven't. Hurt. So what's this new idea for closing? All right. New idea for closing. 
can stupid be smart? All right, so here's the idea. We are going to look up an unsolved math problem. Why? And then we are going to try to just randomly solve it. And then we will do this at the end of every episode. And we want you to leave your answers in the comments and send in videos and audio of your answers to be played on the show. And we will see if we can get in contact with an actual scientist and see if any of these answers maybe, just maybe, (laughs) fall into being the right answer and solve a problem. We may, through mass consciousness, solve these riddles. Dude, so here's the problem with this. What is the problem? First of all, those kinds of equations are going to consist of things that very few people understand. Like, there's symbols in there that are like a, a, a... a direction like here's where you go to the equation from here and like then you get sent back and like it it is very complex and i don't think any scientist is going to take a bunch of answers that are randomly given and fucking run tests on it like and i don't think so i I like where you're going with it like the interaction and shit the idea is we need to change maybe maybe thinking outside of the box would fit an answer that's the idea of it not but you'd have to understand the equation to explain how you came up with it here's like an idea at that point you're talking about it's like fermi's paradox or more like paradoxical things and see if we can find an answer so like fermi's paradox like how many stars how many planets how many One's close to the sun. How many ones with water? How many with oxygen? That kind of that equation. There's that's the Drake equ- equation. The Drake equation. But then there's the Fermi's that's... paradox. I think is isn't that the idea? Of oh, like... of if there's so many. Uh, no, because a paradox is something you, that's like an endless. Um, more like the Schroding. No, that's cat. That's uh, that's paradoxical. Do you understand me, boy? All right. The Fermi paradox is the discrepancy between the lack of conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial life and the apparently high uh, volume of like habitable zones. Yeah. It's the likelihood of its existence is what it's trying to say, but this has a typo on it. Um, so I was correct. But you could use the Drake equation. To, like, do the math, right? On the Fermi's Paradox. But you would have to have, like, the math. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, so. how would we know what E equals MC squared? Like, how would we get to that if we don't know what the fuck E is? Well, here's the the other. Yeah, that's things. But here's the thing with. uh, We could start with the Fermi Paradox. Um, What I have a problem with is. uh, It. We know we're being lied to by our governments. Like, every government lies to its people for control purposes. Um, Yeah. So, it's hard to know, because there's a lot of motherfuckers out there who would tell you, like, dude, I've seen an alien craft. Like, there's no way this could have been anything else. definitely seen a UFO. Okay, yeah, UFO. That should not be able to do what it did if which it was just tells a us airplane. which tells and our, there's no way that our government with its infinite funding it seems to fucking have um there's no way they're not researching shit like that there's there's no way yeah well i mean it's proven that they have right so they're but they're not releasing their findings which no, is not all of it no, that's they're the problem releasing the, the worst fucking shot video and everything else right like, to to keep it like yeah, there's something, but we don't know what it is, and we're going to barely show you anything right. to, like, give you just enough to shut up. 
so it's the likelihood like i would say that the odds aren't as astronomical as people might believe that our government is in cahoots with like you know whatever's out there and one or the other saying that people as society aren't ready and i'd imagine be the you know any kind of extraterrestrial life that's figured out a way to travel through space probably is telling you know the few people it talks to like hey we're here we're going to be doing some shit you need to keep these people in line because we you know maybe through prior experience of hey we did this before and last time people freaked out and there was bad shit going afoot Yeah. But it's just as likely, you know, maybe fucking, maybe everybody out there's in the same situation we're in. They just, the speed of light is impossible to fucking get to, you know? So, and no one has a lifespan that lasts long enough to... Crop circles. Crop circles kind of got pushed off to the wayside. Oh, because... you watch the Y files. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> because those two old guys, right? Yeah. And... But it was proven that like their shit was jank compared to some of the ones that were. Yeah, there no, there's a huge and then the difference. message one. That one I saw years ago, and that one always like gave me tingles down my spine when I looked at it because I'm like, that's fucking insane. Yeah, and to be an exact replica of yep. a different thing, a silicon based life form that's like three foot something. Yeah, and like. Uh, just it's a, an exact return to a message that was sent out that no one knew was sent out until they the got receive an answer. Yeah, came back ten years later, which is nuts. And then like a mua mua, there's still like talk about that. There's an actual like uh, Harvard uh, professor that kind of threw his career out there because he was like, we don't know what it was. Right. To claim that we know what it was. And so he's been pushing, like, I think it was a solar sail. I think it was an alien spacecraft, like a satellite. Right. Shot through space. So who knows? Who knows? <laughs> right. So the and, you know, answer I, to the Drake equation is Z. Honestly, and that's what's, you know, what's so crazy is, like, the way I feel like there's really you can narrow it, like what's going on here as far as like our social, uh, social social. Fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I want to say like soci sociology, socioeconomic. No, it's because it's not an economic. Just the whole social uh, structure, the structure of our social system right now, like societal so, structure. Yeah, there we go you we have all we've developed like we had these great minds <laughs> for a while there we were developing really great minds that developed this technology that could have very easily been used for a great good you know to continue the furtherance of people's uh ability to think you know because these it's proven that these machines do help with learning, you know, with kids and shit, you start, you can start getting them on it early and they start learning earlier while the brain's developing. So you're pretty much just like programming a computer. Well, and we learned that children from the age of born till five learn and retain 300 new things a day. Yeah. And no other time in, in the human's cycle of life. No. Do we retain that much information? No. So that's the time to program Right. children into the things that you want that's why they're going for the kids now right and that's but the thing is is that they're making an entire generation dumb like that whole that's covid lockdown like i mean i'm not two saying iq points on average true. just dropped yeah that's insane that is that hasn't insane. happened in history no not since we started gaining iq points but they want to continue the very policies that enacted things like that and oh, no political. and it's and no one's talking about how these policies that are that came from that situation they're the policies are still continuing the only one that's changed is the mask and lockdown the only two that have changed actually youtube just changed their policy on the saying that it is a lab leak 
Okay, but I'm talking about like people affecting our lives policy. Well, it affected a lot of people's lives that were YouTube news commentators. They yeah. fucking banned those people and took their income away and basically stole their jobs from them in order. And now they've released it. Why have they now released it? Okay, but you're getting off topic. Nope. Anyway, so it's been proven that these kids are, you know, obviously dumbed down and. They want to continue these policies that are also contributing to the intellectual loss from the, you know, these kids are facing. It's like in Oregon where they, they want to abolish, if they haven't already, they, I think they did abolish the uh, requirements for graduation. Like pretty much the requirements now are show up the way I understand what I read. Like it's... because they're saying math is racist. Yeah. And grades are, I guess, racist. Everything is. Like, so merit itself, it seems like, is racist. Yeah, it's colonialism. And it's, you, you can't teach a generation that unless you have plans to segregate these people into their groups and you are essentially sh- like you would a herd of sheep or cattle. If you got some cattle and you got some bulls in with your you know, your heifer or your, uh, your cows, then (laughs) I don't know why I freaking, (laughs) you got some heifers with your bulls, Uh, some bulls with your heifers. Uh, I don't think they'd mind. Hey, nothing they're doing. Anyway, um, you got, you want to separate your bulls from your cows and that's, it's hurting. You're separate your groups. I don't know why I'm saying bulls and cows. He's lost himself. I did. He's like, he's like I'm so he's dumbfounded. Like he took us off the trick. I'm <laughs> so dumbfounded. But anyway, we're we're being they either are trying to segregate us into groups for some purpose or easier to control. Right, but like eventually you're gonna have to put these groups together because it's gonna be so divisive you, you can't them, have you pit them against each other until they kill each other off and then the last of them you control. Because they're the weakest ones. They'll fight the hardest for your what you set up for the battle. Look at these people. Look at them. The most unhinged ones are the ones that have no argument, have no communication skills, have none of that. They just freak out. Right. They either cry or they start lashing out with anger. That is the people they want because they're the easiest to control. Right. That's the idea. They think they will win. They're wrong. Right. But what they think they will what win. What I don't understand, I guess, is why. Why would you want that? Like, okay, Power. you want to control people. I get that. But <clears throat> why would you want to stop advancement? Why would you want to create generations? Well, like- if you are thinking that you're the most powerful and you have the people that you need with you and they're going to be... As long as they're willing to play ball, and until you find the person who's willing to play ball, and then you let them be rich and indulgent, but they have to produce. And the rest of the people you just need to consume and make products and make money for you yeah, to be able to continue wielding power. But eventually... With that business model, eventually you're going to have so much loss, like as far as people go and personnel to do that. Like, even with the advancement of robotics, we're talking and about the same people that want to have 500,000 people at most on the planet. Is that what the WF said? That was what, like, the, the Georgia Guidestones and all that stuff. That's the whole, like, whole. Like, the world population is too much. The max population should be 500,000 people. And then control those 500,000 people. Like, that's what they want to get the numbers down to. That's not that many people. It's not. That's not even like a... But there was less than that at a time on this planet. Oh, yeah, in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. For a while. Easier to control. That yeah. maybe they want five million or fifty million. Yeah, that seems more but realistic. 
We, we are, are both ventriloquists, ventriloquists, ventriloquists. We are both ventriloquists and we practice every yeah, day. He carries a basket, carries a paper roll, and we don't have cysts. But there is one thing that's for It's Every day, he carries a basket, carries a paper roll, and we don't have cysts. Just about a percent, right? So 50 million out of billion. Which is 100 million. Yeah, million. It's, a, it's a good percent. It's like 3%, 4%, I think. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. This is why we can't do math problems for a closer. We are doing math problems for a closer. All right, let's. <laughs> why does it cut out early? Something you're doing. Because I don't even have it in my hand. I closed it. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. I don't know what you're doing. I, I need to stop. Dog, I, I freaking closed it. You need it. to stop. Um, need where's to my stop. calculator at? Utilities should be in there. Calculator? You want it? Yeah. What? No, I'm straight on that. Um. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. Everything has ads these days. That's why you need an ad blocker. Mm, how about the carbonated soda? Okay, so let's see. Clear. All right. So. <gasps> That's dead air because of Nick. Good job. All man. right. So. No, times. Damn. We looking snazzy. Oh, yeah. We looking snazzy. Wind blow is terrible at radio. Shit? He doesn't know that the silence is not good. He needs to talk when he's doing All right. stuff. Did you figure it out yet? Jesus, God Almighty! I could have Googled this faster than what it's taking you. Why didn't you just Google? What is fifty or five hundred million? I don't know because I thought I could of... do it with the calculator, but apparently I'm freaking dumb. <laughs> yeah, well, um, we all knew this. <laughs> Yes. Did you find it? Did you find it? Okay. It's Six point two five percent. God damn, you no. took forever. No, five hundred no. million is, is six two point zero or zero is, point six two five percent. No, yes, five hundred million is six two five hundred million. I thought point, we said fifty million. Oh well, I put five hundred million. If no, you put fifty, 50 million, million, yeah, it would be point, point zero. Yeah, so not even a percentage of the population that we yeah, have currently. Yeah, fifty million. That's fucking nuts. Okay. Yeah. Well, we solved our equation for. And if it was five hundred million, that would only be six percent, not even ten percent of the population. Even if they kept five hundred million, which is ain't ain't shit. That ain't shit. Right. That ain't shit. Don't look at your phone like you need to go somewhere. Like you got. Well, things we've been to on do. this for an hour and a half. We've been on this for an hour and twenty four minutes and seven seconds and eight seconds That's and nine an hour seconds and, a half and, and half. ten seconds and eleven seconds and twelve e. seconds and thirteen e. seconds. E. <laughs> <laughs> go to Richwood Skateboards on YouTube and check out the uh, the alphabet videos. You will not be disappointed. Not Watch all, all ten minutes of them <laughs> in ten seconds. Tell us your favorite part. Your favorite part. <laughs> Timestamp it. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. I'll get it, and we'll, we'll fucking talk about it here. 
All right. Uh, well, anyway, um, the answer to the Drake equation is Z. And the answer to all other equations is X, Z, Y, F, or G. Thank you, and have a good night. And make sure to vote for me. Peace for Congress. out. Much love. Bye-bye.